Hi again. If you missed the past week's videos, my name is Asia and I'm a librarian at Oregon Tech and the librarian for this course. This week I'll be showing you some resources that might be helpful when looking for information to create a SWOT analysis. Some of you might find that you can locate some of this information on the company's website, but it's important to note that information a company chooses to share on their own site typically reflects their perspective and has been vetted by marketing and PR professionals to ensure that it portrays the company in a positive light. To gain a more balanced perspective on the company's history, I would recommend supplementing anything you find on the company's website with information from other sources. To start, navigate to the library website at www.oit.edu forward slash library. Click on the electronic resources link and scroll down until you see the business source complete link. When you click on the link, you will be prompted to log in. Log in with your Oregon Tech username and password, the same ones that you would use to access MyOIT. Once logged in, you should see a search box where you can type the name of your company. Hit search. and you will be presented with a list of search results. From here, look for the small tab on the right corner of the page. Clicking this tab will expand it, a list of company links. Click on the link for your company and you will be taken to the company page. From here, you can locate different types of articles about your company and might even find that others have created SWOT analyses that you can look at. In addition to the information in Business Source Complete, your SWOT analysis will likely need to include some information about the industry in which your company is operating. To locate industry information, go back to the library's electronic resources page. Scroll down until you see the link for Mergent Intellect. When you click on the link, you should see the Mergent homepage. Don't worry if it doesn't come up right away though. Mergent is notoriously slow to load. From here, click on the first research icon. You will be prompted to provide an email address, but this won't actually result in you receiving email. In fact, a fake address seems to work perfectly fine. Once you've entered your email address, click submit, and you will be taken to the Mergent First Research homepage. The most challenging part about navigating this resource is determining what industry your company operates in and then matching that to how your company's industry is labeled. You can look back at your first assignment and the SIC codes you identified to help with, can help with this, or you can take a chance with the search. For example, if my company makes video games, I might take type video games into the search. but would notice that the industry report that seems like it might best fit would be the entertainment games and game software report. No matter which report you choose, you can access it by clicking on the title. The reports are developed by research analysts to give researchers and business owners a better sense of the environment that companies in a particular sector will be operating in. The reports will all be organized into similar sections, including industry overview, business trends, industry opportunities, etc. You can access these by clicking on the links on the left side of the page. You can also download the report as a PDF using the link in the blue text at the top of the page. Finally, every company is different, so search strategies that might work better for one business may not work as well for others. As always, please don't hesitate to contact me or the library if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.